Hello reception, I hope you've had a lovely weekend and I hope you're enjoying your learning. So this week we are learning about The Very Hungry Caterpillar. Now this book is an absolute favourite in my house, I'm hoping that you guys will enjoy it too. So <clears throat> on the slides you've already seen this book being read to you, you've already heard it and you've heard that this hungry caterpillar eats so many different snacks. He is so hungry so he, he eats all of these things throughout the week. Okay, so this week we are going to think about the different snacks that we like. And on the slide just before this one, you should have been thinking about your favourite snack. Um, and we are hoping by the end of the week to be able to write our own food journals. So today your challenge is to help your grown-ups to make your favourite snack. Now, I've seen lots of you are doing this already on Tapestry, so this should be really, really easy for most of you. Um, and when you make your, your favourite snack today, your grown-up can take a photograph of you and put it on Tapestry for you. So before you make your snack today, I thought that we could have a little think about our favourite snack, what, we'd, what we might like to make today, and we can draw it and try and label it today and then later on you can go and make it with your grown-up and then you've done all of it you've written about it you've drawn it and you've even made it and it can all go on tapestry even the work that you do so your drawing of it and your writing that you can do that you do today all of it can go on tapestry for us to see um so so now i'm going to help you with that i'm going to draw my favorite snack and i'm going to label my favorite snack to help you so you don't have to do the same snack as me because your snacks your favorite snacks probably different to mine i think i'm going to struggle with this because i have a lot of favorite snacks so i'm just going to have a think about it and then i'm going to get my whiteboard out and try and draw my favorite snack and label my favorite snack to help you So my favourite snack is jam on toast, so I'm going to try and draw jam on toast. Now it doesn't have to be perfect, my drawings aren't good at all, but I'm going to do my best. So there's my toast and there's my jam on it. And now I'm going to try and label my drawing. So I'm going to write what it is. When we label it, we write what it is. So. It is jam on toast. So I'm going to think about the word jam and try to listen to all the sounds that I can hear in that word. Jam. So I'm going to try and sound it out. Can you help me? J, A, M, jam. So, J, A, M, jam. And the next word is on. What's the first sound in on? O, and the next sound is n, o, n, on, on, and my last word is toast. Now toast has a digraph in it, I can hear that digraph, so let's, sound, let's say that word and listen to all the sounds in that word, toast, so what's the first sound, ready, t, o, We've got more sounds in that word, so I need your help to try and write it. So, my first sound is t, and my next sound is o. Can we remember how to write that digraph? It's an o and an a. O and an a together makes o. So, t, o, s, t, toast. And now I'm going to read it back and check my work. Jam on toast. <gasps> I've forgotten something. What have I forgotten? That's right, I've forgotten my finger spaces. So it's not a problem because I've just made a little mistake, but that's how we learn. When we first start writing, we make lots and lots of mistakes, don't we? And it's not a problem. As long as we learn by our mistakes, it makes us better. So I'm going to rub out this part and I'm going to remember my finger spaces next time. So I've got jam, my next word is on, and it's o, n, remembered my finger space. So I've got jam, on, and my next word is toast, so I need another finger space. T, o, s, t, so t, o, s, t, 
And now I'm going to check it back. Jam, jam on toast, toast. And I know that I've done everything right by labeling that, that picture. Okay, so um, remember that if you are labeling a picture or trying to write a word or something and it's quite tricky and you're not too sure how to spell it, you don't always need an adult to help you to spell it perfectly, okay? I would like to see you try and use your phonics to spell that word. So if, you, if your favorite snack is fruit, you're going to struggle to spell the word fruit because we can't sound it out. It's not phonetically plausible. So if you ask a grown up how to spell fruit, they will probably tell you how to, but when you read it back, it won't say fruit to you, okay? So grown ups, if your child spells fruit, sound that fruit, they will probably write it like this. Fr, u, t, like that. And that is fine. Because to a reception child, sounding that out, fr, u, t, fruit, to them it says fruit, okay? So you don't need to worry about correcting them at this point because they're using their phonics to write it. So if they ask you how do they spell everything, you can try and encourage them to use their phonics. Um, so I would like to see everyone now try and draw a picture of their favorite snack and try and label it using their own phonics. And I would like for you to put that on to tapestry afterwards. So I hope that you have lots and lots of fun write, drawing your own snack and writing it. And I hope you have even more fun making your snack and eating your snack. So you can put all of that on tapestry for us as well to look at. And I would just like to say thank you to everybody that has been uploading onto tapestry and doing this work with their children. Um, I know it must be quite tricky because lots of you are still working from home and have other children and things. So we really do appreciate the help that you're giving the children and you know, really trying hard to get this work done um, and spending that time with them. So yeah, thank you for that. Have a good day.